generous Pete handed out $100 <laughs> notes to each person queuing outside Box Hill Centrelink. That's his new name, Generous Pete. Devastated and moved by the heartbreaking scenes of everyday Aussies losing jobs, battling to make ends meet, he withdrew $10,000, headed straight to Centrelink to share his wealth with strangers. Centrelink staff said it is the kindest act of generosity they have seen. And Good Samaritan Peter joins us now. Good morning. On behalf of Australia, let me just say you are a dead set bloody legend. Uh, what led you to give $10,000 to strangers queuing at Centrelink? Um, first of all, I am no legend. Uh, I'm just an ordinary Australian citizen just uh, looking to lend a helping hand because uh, we arrived here as immigrants. I was six years old starving with hunger from our village in Greece. Wow. So I am no legend. I'm just so grateful uh, about this, what this country has done for me and my family. We do have to go to the news in, in a moment, Peter, but I'd just love for people to know a little bit about you. We've got one minute. You actually have had to close your coffee shop because of this, so it's not like you have, haven't been affected. No, I, I'm, I'm in... I'm, I've got you know, substantial financial, you know, challenges because, you know, we had to shut our, our business on Monday at lunchtime due to the government directive, which is fair enough, throwing thousands of dollars worth of food out, uh, trying to relocate and assist my staff. I'm not immune. So this is all part of that gesture because wow. I understand the pain on the ground and the thousands and thousands of business people that have to go home to their families and saying, well, I've shut the shop, I've got no business and I can't feed my family. Well, Peter, we really appreciate you coming on today. I can't imagine what the response was at that Centrelink line when you gave them $100 each, $10,000 out of your own money. Uh, it is extraordinary. You say you're not a dead set legend. I agree with you, Maddie. Uh, you're a dead set legend. Thank you so much for being with us, Peter. <laughs> no. Thanks for your time.